This game is massive. This game is absolutely huge. Hey everybody, I am Robert Storms. Welcome back to the channel. As always, if you guys are finding me for the very first time, please do me a massive favor, smash that like and subscribe button. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. So I've been playing Elder Ring nonstop ever since I picked this game up a few days ago. And I got well over 20 hours in the game now. And I'm going to give you my first initial impressions on Elden Ring. This isn't gonna be a full on review because I haven't beaten the game and I don't know how long it's gonna take to beat this game and to be honest with you I'm having so much fun just playing in this world that really I don't care if I ever beat this game I just like running around and exploring Elden Ring is a Dark Souls open world RPG game where they have this massive gigantic open world where you are free to roam and explore anything of your choosing and that's one thing that I really like about Elden Ring is it doesn't hold your hand. It drops you in this world with very few story elements and it's like, okay, go explore, go do your thing. And you are free from that point onward to go anywhere you want. The game is extremely difficult. I have died countless and countless and countless times they do not care what level you are if you go up to a boss it's going to own you it is up to you as the player to figure out how to become stronger how to level up and how to survive within this world this is not a game that is cinematic heavy there are story beats throughout the game that you have to come and you kind of have to discover on your own and you get to learn the the basic the story and history of this world and as the plot evolves as you go throughout this world it's all about the gameplay not about the plot and i really appreciate that so many games today are just all about those cutscenes. You have 15 minutes, 20 minute cutscenes. You play a game, you do like 10 minutes of gameplay, and then boom, you're right back into another cutscene. It's cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. And when you look at it, you're like, this game is mostly more cutscenes than there is gameplay. And from software, really kind of flips that on his head and like this is strictly gameplay this is all gameplay there are npcs throughout the map that that will give you hints of dialogue on stuff that's going on in this world and you can go into these different castles and these different dungeons find different equipment weapons and items that helps you along in this journey within this world but for the most part you're not going to be getting a five ten minute cutscene you get a little bit of information from different npcs as you go throughout this world and you kind of piece things together as you go this isn't a story driven hold your hand this is here's the world go explore the world and i appreciate that a lot this is a very big world a big open world and the only other game that i can compare this to is really zelda breath of the wild because breath of the wild didn't hold your hand it's like boom here's the world you go explore and do things at your own pace and I really enjoyed that about Breath of the Wild, and it's what I'm loving about this game. I thought the graphics of the game, although not cutting edge by any means, are very, very passable, and the frame rate stays pretty steady for the most part. Obviously, I am playing it on the PS5. I was debating on whether to get it on the Xbox Series X or the PS5. Xbox Series X versions were sold out, so I ended up getting the PlayStation 5 version, and to be honest with you, it was the last copy they had. And so I've been enjoying the game. The frame rate is pretty good. There is some pop-ins every now and then. I'll be walking and a tree would pop in the frame or some texture packs would pop in. And I'm like, eh, this, this could have been better, especially for a next-gen game, but it is also on the previous generation too. So I'm going to cut the game a little bit of slack because I'm having so much fun with the gameplay aspect of it. The bosses in this game are brutal. They're hard. I'm still getting owned by the very first boss. I'm still getting owned hours upon hours into this game. It's all about leveling up to your pace, learning the different methods and different patterns of these bosses, learning the different me methods and patterns of these characters and enemies within this game and learning how to deal with that. And I think that's the exciting part of it is that basically I'm creating my own adventure as I go and I have the free will to do whatever I want. I have never been a massive Dark Souls fan. I have never really played any of the games because I heard they were so brutally hard. But Elden Ring kind of delivered on something different. I am a massive RPG fan and the fact that Elden Ring 
is Dark Souls, but in an open world environment and an RPG just made it more appealing to me as an RPG player. And I really appreciate that. I really do. And I really enjoyed that about the game is because I'm able to go out and I'm able to level grind if I want to, maybe go explore or something, get a little adventurous. And the stronger you get, the more powerful and more accomplished you feel. Like every time I level up, I'm like, oh man, I'm so happy. It's like I feel like I really accomplished something. And then I go try to fight a boss and then I get owned. And then I got to do it all over again and over again and over again. But each time you get stronger, you really feel like you accomplished something in the game. So in closing, Elden Ring is a massive game with fantastic gameplay. If you like the freedom to go wherever you want, and play a game at your pace without annoying cussings over and over and over again, then Elden Ring is definitely the game for you. This is a game that I think you should pick up and give it a try because it's a world that you're going to spend hours in and really get your money's worth. Well, guys, that's all I have to say about Elden Ring. Have you played it? Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. If you're thinking about picking it up, let me know. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. That way you guys stay up to date on all future content. And until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.